Hey, what's up guys? So I had a lot of people ask me uh, what watch I got when I mentioned that I bought a watch. And uh, this watch is actually going back out the door um, to its, you know, the company that it was uh, originally sold through um, for a new battery. It has a quartz uh, resonator movement in it, but uh, as well as a new link for it because it doesn't fit me. So I have to throw another link on there. But anyway, um, a lot of a lot of women actually watching the uh, the video now uh, knows what this is. It's the infamous blue box. And like I said, most women know. Um, few men out there know, but generally speaking, women shop at this store. Of course, there's a whole lot of men shopping too for their women. But uh, anyway, it's from Tiffany's. Tiffany & Co. So, why did I get a Tiffany's watch? Well, I've, uh, I've been at Tiffany's a few times. Um, I really admire a lot of the stuff they sell in there. It really is extremely expensive, and I can never afford to walk into Tiffany's and buy pretty much anything um, brand new. But I was shopping around. I was in the mood for a watch. I've been kind of on this watch kick lately, and uh, it was kind of an impulse purchase. I won't lie. There's lots of stuff I like, but I saw this on uh, online for sale, and I thought, you know what? The price is right. I mean, I haven't seen a single Tiffany's watch uh, from the store that's less than like a thousand dollars. They all start at about two thousand. And they go up to sixty, seventy thousand. So uh, the big thing with Tiffany's, though, is that they don't make their own watches. They outsource pretty much everything as far as watches are concerned. So there's a lot of other companies over the years who've made watches for them. They basically outsource them and then they put their name on them. But of course, it's real prestigious, and the watch itself is very, very high quality. But it just happens to carry that Tiffany's name. So anyway, let's uh, break into it and take a look at it. So now we have the leather display case. All right, of course the battery's died. But anyway, here's the uh, leather box here. And here is the watch. Now this is a, uh, the Mark, the Tiffany's Mark is the model. There's a lot of variety in this uh, watch. There's a whole bunch of different styles. There's actually a whole bunch of different types of movements on the inside as well. This one, like I said, happens to be a quartz resonator which uh, takes a battery. Uh, some of them are automatic. There's different uh, variations where some have the date on the side, uh, some have the second hand, uh, some are uh, chronographs. So there's a lot of different variety, but of course as you add stuff, you also add price. This is about the base model. Uh, this exact watch right now on Tiffany's, by the way, this is stainless steel. Um, some, of the, some of the versions came in platinum, which like I said, were like sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. This is pretty much the basic. Uh, this one starts at about two thousand dollars and goes up from there depending on what features you have but um it's a beautiful watch i like the band that's what kind of sold me on it but the whole um theme here is supposed to pay tribute to the old uh pocket watches and if i can get the light with the stainless it's hard to focus but if you look the whole face and the whole theme of the watch is supposed to represent like i said the old uh pocket watches with the roman numerals there and the round face so just a beautiful watch I just kind of fell in love with it I always like the white face or silver face uh, with the stainless steel uh, for the band but it's just beautiful I really liked it like I said it was kind of an impulse purchase but I don't do that very often it's just something I kind of fell in love with this does have to go back to Tiffany's like I said it's uh, just a little bit small for me I'll take it off this little pillow thing the, uh, I like how the clasp works. I've never seen a watch specifically like this. There's the Tiffany uh, stamping again. But anyway, how this works is um, there's actually two two different points where it actually snaps on, one on each side. And I've never seen that before. It's a little bit unique to me, but uh, it leaves a nice clean look. Here it is marked again. All Tiffany stuff is usually marked. You know, multiple times. Tiffany's actually uh, really easy um, to fake. I shouldn't say it's easy to fake. I should say that there's a lot of fakes out there. But anyway, this is the genuine article. It is a beautiful watch. I think I got a great price on it. Uh, originally, I thought maybe I would buy it, fix it up, and sell it. I might just uh, keep it. I mean, that was my original intention was to, uh, you know, turn it around and actually make money on it. But uh, it is a beautiful watch. I would never afford to buy this brand new. 
so like I said, perhaps after I send it in and uh, you know get it fixed up, I might actually just keep it and save it for uh, special occasions. But beautiful watch. Um, comes with some paperwork and a pouch. You know, there's a leather pouch in here and all the paperwork and you know instruction booklet and there's a a date card in here as well. But I don't want to show the information because it has a serial number on there. But anyway, just wanted to show the watch. Don't want to make this an incredibly long video. A lot of people were asking me what I got. And that's it. I got a Tiffany Mark watch. This is born in 2003. So, uh, just beautiful though. Anyway, there it is for anyone who is interested. Um, in the future when I get it fixed up, I may have like an update video on it to tell you how it works, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But for now, just a, a little look. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.